Hey guys, Steve Welcher, Beam and Toyota in Nashville. Wanted to show you something really cool on the new Tundra. So um, normally when you're hooking up a trailer, you normally you have to have somebody inside and you're telling them to hit the brakes, hit your left turn, your right turn, uh, and you're just kind of having them run through things for you. Um, when you're by yourself, you have to get really creative normally. Uh, things like sticks, broom handles, stuff like that. We've all had it uh, to where we've had to mess with those before um, when you're alone. The Tundra, you don't have to do that anymore. There's actually a way that you can check your trailer lights if you're by yourself. And um, I'm gonna show you how to do it here with this little emulator that I got here. Um, so first off, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to plug this in to right here, all right? So by plugging this in, it's going to, oh, see me plugging her in there. So it's going to emulate, and I got her in there, emulate the lights, all right? So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on. All right. So once I turn this this on here, you're gonna see that everything fires up. It's gonna show me the doors open, uh, which I realize that. Normally you're gonna be on a screen that's like this, right? So if you use these buttons left or right, you can actually go through, and I'm just hitting back whenever that pops up for the door, but you can hit the right button and you see those screens are changing up there. So I'm going all the way to this screen with the gear that's up that was up there that you just saw, right? So I'll go back, you see the gear right there, pop back over here. Saying not ready to drive because I'm not, uh, don't have it running. But then I'm gonna hit down right here, right? And I keep coming down and I'm gonna come to trailer light check, all right? So I'm gonna hit this button and it's gonna say the trailer light check will cycle the turn signals and brake lamps 10 times, all right? So you hit start, right? So now it shows that it's in progress. If we walk back here, like I said, if I had a trailer, it'd be a little bit easier, but you can kind of see back here on these green lights, they'll pop up and you'll see that it's running through and it's cycling. So you got your right turn and it's gonna flash your turn for you. And it'll go to your left turn, and it'll flash your left turn, and then it's gonna hit your brake lights and it's gonna turn on, and all your marker lights will turn on, and it's gonna cycle through that, like I said, 10 times. So there's your brake lights, because it's got both of those down there on. Um, it's gonna cycle through all of that 10 times, and it's gonna make sure that you have the ability to walk around your trailer and make sure that all of your lights are functioning the way that they should. So, um, like I said, really cool, really easy way to do the light check um, on there. And then you also have the ability to come back if you want to, all right, so once you're done, if you want to come back up here, then you can hit cancel. But you can see, by the way, that it's hitting turn signal up here, turn signal the other way. So it's, it's working up here the same way, right? But you can hit the center button here. This is how you select, by the way, too. And you can shut that off. Now, I'm also going to show you your trailer settings just here for a second. That you can come in here, press hold OK, and you can select or add a trailer, and you can add a new trailer, and you can actually set up different trailers. I did a different video on that one that's uh, really uh, interesting for uh, all the stuff that you can set up as a standard trailer. And it could also actually sense the, the trailer that's back there a lot of times for you. So you can set all of them up. And if you, you know, you're going and you're going to set up a utility trailer, you hit this uh, select button here. You can say, well, is it a ball type? Is it, you know, a fifth wheel? Is it a gooseneck? So you can tell what it is, right? Or you can go, what's the length? Auto is where it's detecting it. <coughs> Excuse me. You go three feet, nine feet. You can go all the way up to 39 feet or longer than 39 feet as what you are selecting as the length of your trailer. So, um, like I said, it can auto detect it or you can tell it what it is. Um, you can also tell it, you know, what type of brake type is on there. So if you're looking at it, so you have electric, electric over hydraulic, uh, TBC off, that's probably the brake controller off so that you're not actually sending any brake signal back. Um, but just that's how it works guys so hopefully that's helped you guys out and uh, you now know that you no longer have to worry about setting your um setting your uh have somebody setting in your seat to check your lights on your new tundra so um definitely it's a really cool feature so steve welcome to go ahead downtown nashville you guys have a great day we'll talk to you soon